Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Um, yeah, welcome back. So my name is Ollie's mom and today I'll be talking about the perfume Cheapy that I still own. I have been buying a lot of perfume, but I only have a um, limited amount of space in my perfume cabinet. So I'm constantly buying and decluttering um, kind of refreshing my perfume in my cabinet. So I'm making sure that all the perfume that I own still reflect my current taste and that they are really good, that they're not worth decluttering. So these are the designer slash, yeah, I think mainly designer and there are a couple of clone house as well that I think it's really good. So let's start with Dossier. So these are gifted to me. My favorite out of all the Dossier, even until now, or maybe their three favorite now, is Black Opium. I've had this for a while and I really enjoy having Dossier perfume, Black Opium. This one smells pretty similar to the original. Um, it's a fraction of the price. I really, really like it. And it just smells good. I used to own a full oriental vanilla from Dossier. They have a candle of this and I used to put it on um, whenever I'm home. So I just absolutely adore this. I love the smell of it. Not only I wear this on my body, I also wear it as a room scent as well. I absolutely love it. If you haven't tried their black opium, you should totally try it. Dossier is really good at making scents that are bright, fruity, and cheerful. I think they got that right. So the next one, of course, is it's Fleur Narcotic. It's pretty spot on. Yeah, this is really good. It's actually, today I'm actually wearing a real my real Fleur Narcotic, and it smelled just like this. Um, so I highly, highly, highly recommend Dossier Fleur Narcotic. I have a discount code, AllisMom10. You can get 10% off from Dossier, and they have a welcome offer of 20%, so you could get 30% off. And on top of that, if you select the catch step in the checkout, you can get a bonus of $10. So yeah, I really, really like Black Opium Fleur Narcotic. And the last but not least, Love Don't Be Shy. Really, really, really enjoy this. Yeah, I think you should definitely get this three. If, if there are three in the whole store that I would recommend now, it would be Floral Marshmallow, Killian Love Don't Be Shy, Fleur Narcotic, Woody Peony, and Black Opium, Floriental Vanilla. These are my top three, definitely my top three. I also have um, the Foche Viva, which I also really like, but I don't like it as much. The more I smell it, the soapier it gets. So this is a, um, a soapy, yeah, very soapy orange blossom. I like it, but I, I think I prefer the other three for sure. So the next one, that perfume that I have for a long time. This is one of the cheapy, I think. I don't know. It's a designer, uh, Mon Guerlain. Just look how much I've worn this. I just enjoy this a lot. Sometimes the licorice get a little bit spicy, but I really, really like it. Mon Guerlain is just a safe bet, you know? It's a licorice, vanilla, and a lavender. I really, really enjoy it. Next, I really like Yves Saint Laurent Manifesto. It's just the ambery green vanilla. Um, I really like it. Smell like an aura of greenness and ambery. I just like it. I don't know if this is discontinued, but I feel like this is a classic, and I feel like if you could get it, you should totally get it. Next, Jessica Simpson Fancy. If you know me for a while, you know I really like this one. It's a caramel, 
It's a caramel apricot. I go a lot with this. I'll do one, two, and then I'll spray all over my hair and my body and drench in this. It does gives you a beautiful sillage and it is such a cheapie that I think it's a life first for me. Okay, so next is uh, Yves Saint Laurent. What is this? Libra Intense. So every time I see it, I like want to declutter it, but before I declutter anything, I tend to try it again on skin. And every time I pick this up to declutter, I always put it back. This is just really good. Performance is unbelievable. This is really good for the price. Performance amazing. I like it more than the original. I haven't tried the EDT. I'm just assuming that's similar to the original. Next, I really love Dior Hypnotic Poison. I used to own the other Dior, but I, out of all of them, these are the only one that I still own in my collection. Poison Girl, I've decluttered it. I'm a hypnotic poison team. Next, Tom Ford Noir Parfum. I think this is discontinued or getting discontinued. If you haven't tried it, it's really good. It's like a spicy cardamom creamy with coffee, a little bit spicy. I really like this one. I think it's a classic. The next one, maybe this is also getting discontinued. Like, I feel like everything I love is getting discontinued. Angel Muse. So during summer, the patchouli could be a little bit too much, but I absolutely adore this for the winter and fall. Next, Gimov, Reminiscence Gimov. So I love Killian Love, Don't Be Shy, but I feel like I'm a little bit over it a little bit. And I was testing this and trying to figure out if I want to keep it still. And this one is such a niche smelling perfume for such a reasonable price. So I used to bought this from, I think, Strawberry Net, but now they have this at much reasonable price at fragrance net i used to own the green one the white one and pink my favorite is the pink one but they're all are really nice so last but not least this is one of my favorite maybe i don't know if favorite is the right word this is one of the classic that i always reach for it every time i go to swimming pool this is Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder, the All Fresh. Um, they change the packaging every year, but I just feel like this is one of the easy reach, one of the classic, and I think this is a lifer just because I just reach for it, you know? Um, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.